Hi guys, welcome back to another Yonah Mountain adventure. Uh, I've been looking forward to this one for a while. We're in a beautiful mixed woodland here and it's a scorching day, which begs the question, why have I got a hot tent <laughs> and a log burning stove? Well, I'll tell you, the kind people at Pomolity have, um, have sent me out the Hussar Plus, which is a teepee style tent. Uh, by all accounts, it's huge. I haven't even opened this up yet, so this is gonna be a first. And they've also kindly sent us the Oroken Mini 3 log burning stove as well. Uh, now, because of the temperatures, it is gonna get a little bit cooler through the night, but this thing isn't for warmth. This thing's for uh, some cooking a little bit later on. Uh, I've got some nice steak, I've got some veg. We're gonna uh, have a nice cook up later on. Um, but this is gonna be a spectacular one. It's gonna be interesting because I've never pitched this. I haven't even got it out of its bag yet. So you're gonna see this in real time. So with no further ado, let's get this thing up. Fantastic. The first thing I like about this actually is this bag has got loads of space in it. So if you don't wrap this thing up absolutely snug, you've got bags of room, so that's going to be easy to put away. Right guys, so it's basically up, but one thing to remember is you need to put the canopy on. Now at the minute that's probably about seven and a half foot. So I'll, um, it's got some handy adjusters on the pole here, which I'll show you in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the main pole, put the canopy on, and then I'll be able to extend it back up to full height. Well, this is a fantastic design. Look at that. So you've got double, double access. Whoops. I'll just get this uh, opened up. Wow, this is very dynamic. Well, this is the inner. It's got a nice bathtub on it. And all I've done is I've attached it with the bungees to each peg and it gives it a nice structure. So easy to do, so easy to do. And then it's just a case of attaching this clasp to the top and then just tensioning it into place. That's absolutely bow tight. And that's out the way as well. Absolutely class. Well, there's absolutely loads of space in here. You could get two people easily in here. Absolutely magic. You can probably see there straight away. That's me, full stretch from my arms there and I cannot even touch it. There's another three foot the other end there. There's just so much space. Absolutely magic. And I guess this is the beauty of it, isn't it? Really, you can have so many different configurations. It's a four person shelter. And I can see how you can get four people in here quite comfortably, actually, even with the stove going. Maybe it's not with little kids, mind you, obviously, from a fire safety point of view. But, you know, if there's a few of your pals wanting to get away in, into the woodlands and all of this type of thing, or, you know, you're a couple or a, a family or you've got, like, older kids, this thing is absolutely perfect, absolutely perfect. I think if I was a four year, I would probably avoid having the inner. Just give yourself that extra single skin space. But do you know what, for tonight, this is just me. What a luxurious space this is. I can, I can be protected with the bug mesh. This is tightly woven bug mesh here. There's not even any midges gonna get in here. 
I can just sprawl out in here absolutely no bother at all and the stove will be there and you'll have full view of the stove oh man this is absolutely top class great stuff pomoli love it let's have a look at this stove what I like about this is it comes in this quite nifty uh, pack as you can see here which just folds clasps together and folds up and then the stove comes out that's great oh, I like that nice little carry carry case there we'll move that to one side so this is the Oraken stove it's the mini 3 um, I haven't had this out yet so we're going to have a look at this together so essentially it's a mini log burning stove and it looks like it could be a good spec as well so let's have a look get this out as well so you can see so inside this is where you've got the uh, the stove pipe three four, five, six sections there, which is quite good. Just to give you an idea of the size there of it, that's my hand in there up to almost my elbow. I'll put the dimensions on screen anyway for you, but it does have the top section, it does have a spark arrester. I think it's inevitable with these types of things you're gonna get, especially if you're using damp logs, you're gonna get some sparks, and especially with a bit of wind, it's probably you're probably going to get a bit of temp damage but because it's got the spark arrester and a rain shield on the top part of the pipe i think that's absolutely uh, absolutely spot on and it looks like it comes complete with a dampener in there as well in one of the one of the pipes so we're gonna uh, we'll have a look at this fantastic quality let's get the legs up Great. Now, as you can see, glass on that side, a glass front, and the other side is glass as well. So what that means is, no matter where you are in your shelter, when you've got this thing blasting away, you're going to be able to get that beautiful glow and that homely feel of the fire. So I guess now it's really just a case of putting this in place. Well, there's the logs just broken down a little bit. This is a little bit more manageable for the stove. I've got plenty of kindling, plenty of softwood. So that'll be burning as long as it needs to for cooking anyway. So I've um I've brought my cot with us today, my camping cot, which I'll show you. And actually it just goes to show testimony to the size of this thing as bags of room so not only can i get the um the full cot in which is going to mean i'm going to have a mega comfy night on the inside of the mesh as well there's actually a hanging point uh, which is great so you know you can have your uh, torch or your lantern or whatever and even with this in there's absolutely bags of room it's not like my head's going to be touching the mesh and out like that absolutely so spacious it's unbelievable 
It's getting to that time now. The uh, the sun's setting, and uh, the temperature's dropping a little, but it's but it's still very very warm. Um, and we're just going to sit, really enjoy uh, a couple of cans of lager, and just enjoy being out and soaking up a bit of prescription nature. There's squirrels all over the place. <laughs> You kind of get shifted for squirrels. They're up on the top of the trees, up in the canopies, and they're chucking little pine cones down and all kinds of stuff. What a fantastic place. And before long, I think probably what I'll do is I'll get this lit up and uh, we'll start making tea. I've got a sirloin steak. I've got some Diane sauce. And I've got some uh, runner beans as well and maybe some rice. I'll see how we go. Plenty coffees, plenty water, plenty logs, plenty trees, plenty squirrels, plenty beers. Absolutely fantastic. Oh boy, what a night. It's been such a beautiful night. There's been a lovely sunset. And it's been so nice just spending time in the forest and uh, just kind of chilling out in and around the tent. There's been a real temperature drop. And I'll tell you what, what a difference this has made because I've just been sat here and I'm still in shorts and t-shirt. If I was outside, I probably would have wanted to put a hoodie on. But this has been nice and warm. I can see during the winter this is going to be unbelievable. This stove is an absolute belter. Really good. I'm going to cook up some dinner now. I'm just going to uh, just put the uh, the pan on. That's going to heat up. Let's see how long it takes to heat up with this. I'm going to stoke the fire up. I've got a sirloin steak, which is up to tent temperature. I've got some green beans and some rice. And I've got some Diane sauce as well. So that should be very, very nice. Uh, the fire has been going non-stop um, and it's red hot absolutely red hot what a bit of kit this is so i'm gonna wear uh, i'm gonna have me uh i'm gonna have me supper it's getting late now actually it's about half past nine quarter ten and i've just been watching the sunset and watching the squirrels and listening to the deers barking over on the field there as well absolutely unbelievable do you know what i was wondering about condensation in here as well and do you know what there's absolutely none none whatsoever it's cold outside warm in here normally that means condensation is none none at all so let's see uh let's see what this dinner's gonna be like what a beautiful way to spend your night Oh yes, I can't wait for this, like, fantastic. No plates, just my new spork, thank you Dangerous Dan the man. Oh yes, I cannot wait for this, like, I've been looking forward to this all night. Rice, green beans, Diane sauce, and sirloin steak. That is fantastic. It's very hot, mind. Mmm. Oh, boo. Let's try a bit of this steak. Incidentally, I'm not cutting the, um, I'm not cutting the, 
<laughs> the, the pan. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Mmm. Green beans are perfect, crunchy, tender, lovely. Well, what a fantastic night that's been. Um, this is definitely up there with one of the best. And what a difference this Pomoli Hussar Plus with the Oroken Mini Stove 3. What a difference it's made being in the beautiful woodland, being nice and warm, being cosy, being protected from the elements and having loads of space as well. I'll put a link in the description, guys, for the tent and for the stove as well, if you want to um, if you want to have a look yourself. But I've got to say, like, I know this is the first time I've been out in it, and I will try it several times. And you'll have to check in with us in winter as well, because this is going to be fantastic in the snow. But first impressions are incredible. Absolutely brilliant. But guys, you don't want to see me sit and devour the rest of this. So... I'm going to say good night and God bless. And I'll see you guys in the morning at coffee time. And we're going to boil the water on the stove, obviously. Mm, fantastic. Good night, guys. Mm. guys welcome to another day in this beautiful forest and what a night that was I felt at one point I was in a Swedish sauna the temperature dropped through the night which I knew it was going to I probably plummeted further than I thought it was and what a difference it made that's like a different experience altogether it's a little bit like if you've stayed in like a shepherd's hut with a little log burner and things like that, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot like that. It's a fantastic experience, it really is. Um, there's no condensation inside whatsoever. Um, and you might see I've got that full bed cot there. It's such a comfortable night and what a difference it makes having a good night's sleep and waking up in a beautiful place like this. Oh. Lovely first cup of coffee of the day. And uh, I'm just going to spend a couple of hours just chilling out and soaking up the sights and sounds of this beautiful forest. See what the squirrels are up to. You could hear the odd drop and knock from the little pine cones, which you can tell there's a few of them knocking around here. Where they've, uh, that's all you can hear from time to time, the drop of the pine cones. But <clears throat> I'm so impressed with this, so impressed. And you know what, this, uh, this stove pipe here with the, um, the stove jack on, <sighs> there's absolutely no heat hitting the actual tent itself. However, it's inevitable. Even though I was using dry logs you, and it's got a spark arrestor on, there is a little spark hole there. I'll show you in a second. Mm. Right, I'm going to uh, finish my cup of coffee, chill out for 20 minutes, and I'll bring you back when I'm packing this thing down. Fantastic. Oh. There's a squirrel up there. Well, that didn't take any time at all. 
that's every bit as easy as uh, striking camp with a one-man tent a little one you know one of the small ones that's absolutely spot on that and like I said right at the start with that um, carry sack being much bigger than it needs to be it just means you don't need to worry about you know kind of getting it all squeezed up it's all fitted in there absolutely great same with the stove the stove cooled down very very quickly so absolutely no problem at all what an absolutely awesome night at a different level with a hot tent I must admit and I can't wait to get it out on the next adventure which will probably be within the next week or so um, and I'll try and get into so a little bit of a different location uh, and do a bit of an adventure video what I'm wanting to do with Dangerous Dan is a catch and cook video so that'll be coming up very very soon so stay tuned folks um, what do you think I would love to see your comments on this one I don't know if this is something that you've been interested in or thinking about yourself I've already had a few messages via Instagram about it and uh, yeah I'm going to do a full review on it this was just an introduction really I'll do a full review on it I'll do a separate review on the stove as well because I know loads of people are interested in this type of kit thank you once again to Pomoli for sending me this out um, I've thoroughly enjoyed tonight it's been fantastic really good so if you like what you uh, what you're seeing guys give us a thumbs up um, think about subscribing there's loads of content like this and there's going to be loads more to come as well and um, you know as always say it's really all about coming out and enjoying beautiful green places like this so on that note you know what's coming next don't you <laughs> forget about the news forget about the newspapers and facebook and all the doom and gloom and all the bollocks that's being broadcast about all the bad things that's going on in the world forget about it get up off the sofa get your backpack on come out and enjoy some prescription nature just like this right guys i'm gonna love you and leave you and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next yonder mountain adventure bye for now oh fantastic well, there's no squirrel